Welcome back to the number one source in black lights. This is LED versus fluorescent. Not only LED, but 365 nanometer LED. Let's go. All right, so this is the LED UV 365 nanometer black light. As you can tell right off the bat, look at them colors. They just pop right in your face. I actually have a white backdrop behind these fluorescent materials and you can't even see it at all. This is Wildfire Lighting's newest LED UV linear lamp. Have you heard of Wildfire Lighting? Let me know down in the comments below. Do you have any other black lights? I really like this new lamp. It's pretty powerful. It has high output 365 nanometer black light LEDs. It's self ballasted and the big kicker, it has wood glass filter encasing the LEDs. That's why you hardly see any visible light. These Sabo LED lamps come in two foot nine watt and uh, four foot 15 watt and they're rated at about 20,000 plus hours. All right, now these are the fluorescent lamps here. These are uh, T8 365 nanometer lamps. Uh, most fluorescent lamps, they are 365 nanometers, so you don't really have to worry about that. You basically just have to worry about the output and you know where you're buying them from. I would stay away from the ones you know at like uh, Walmart or Home Depot or um, if you have a Spencer's in your area. Those are not very good. I'll take a look on Amazon to see if I can find any UV fluorescent lamps and if I do I'll, I'll link it down in the description below. Um, if you have something in mind that you see on Amazon uh, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely get back to you. So there's really not much difference between uh, these LEDs and fluorescent lamps. There's still no visible light with the fluorescent lamp. It also does have that uh, wood glass filter on it. So pretty much anything that uh, reacts to the black light is just glowing. You don't see any visible light in the background. You don't see my backdrops. Everything just looks as it should. So if you're still deciding whether to get fluorescent or you know LED, um, I would highly suggest to go the LED route only because the technology, that's just the way it's going right now. Uh, pretty soon these fluorescent lamps, they are gonna be obsolete and there's nothing gonna be out there but LED. But you wanna be mindful that when you're choosing your LED lamp, you wanna make sure that you know if you don't want any visible light or not much visible light, you do want to go with 365 nanometers. Now there is other LED lights out there that are much cheaper at the 395 nanometer, 400 nanometer range. And um, I have an actual video about that on uh, 365 nanometer and 390 nanometer flashlights. And I'll put a link up top or uh, click the link down in my description box. I actually have a 390 nanometer LED black light. I can quickly show you guys uh, the visual aspect on what I'm talking about when it comes to 365 nanometer and 400 nanometer. But if you want a better explanation on the difference between 365 nanometer and 400 nanometer, then please definitely go check out my uh, last video. It definitely goes in depth on explaining on the differences. Wow, this thing is bright. So this is the 390 nanometer wavelength black light LED. Um, it's pretty much self-explanatory, but look at all the visible light. These are the backdrops I was talking about. You can totally see everything. Now there's nothing wrong with this black light. Each black light definitely has its own unique application. It basically all depends on what type of look you're actually looking for um, when you actually purchase your black light. Like if you want to black light your room, this would be probably something you can go with because it does give that purple background. You can't really see it in this video. It gives off more of a bluish background, but it definitely is purple because you're more on the visible light spectrum now at 390, 400 nanometers. If you're doing like a haunted house or an escape room or something you just want the UV reactive materials to glow, then this is not something you want. You probably would go with the 365 nanometer only because it doesn't give off any visible light. 
Oh, also, check out my ball. It's not even glowing anymore. I have UV invisible paint on here, and this doesn't really work well with the 390 nanometer blacklight. Um, I would have another video out pretty soon on uh, UV invisible paint and why the 390 nanometer doesn't work very well with this one. So please look out for that video. I'll probably have it as my next video. So please subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss that video. So if you still need help on whether choosing LED or fluorescent, leave a comment down below and put what type of application you want to use this uh, blacklight for and I'll definitely get back to you. If you did get value out of this video, please smash that like button. And if you're new here, well, you probably are new here since this is only my third video. But please consider subscribing and turn on that bell notification and I'll see you in the next one.